Hello fragrance specialists, my name is Chance, welcome to my guide, and thank you so much for taking a look at another one of our essential oil breakdowns. I have not been looking forward to, towards these last two videos here, or next two videos I guess. The name pronunciation, it hurts me. I've been practicing, I think I got it down packed. Helichristum gymnocephalum is how I believe it's pronounced. I did a lot of googling, I'm like 90% sure that's how you say it. It's a pretty common essential oil, although it is relatively expensive, so just do bear that in mind. That being said, if you have particularly bad allergies and you still want to get involved in essential oils, this is one of the safest ways to do it. Of course, with that in mind, always consult your doctor before use. Just because it's relatively safe in that regard doesn't mean that you might be not allergic to this particular plant on its own. So just check, just to make sure. Now let's dive into its profile here. It is described as having a rich, sweet, floral, and earthy aroma. Under uses, you'll see expectorant, anti-allergenic, anti-inflammatory, astringent, and deodorizing. Long story short, really good stuff. Under method of extraction, you'll see steam distilled, and it blends well with a pretty decent amount of essential oils, basil, black cumin, black pepper, cedar wood, frankincense, lavender, lemon, peppermint, and winter green. I feel like pine should be in there as well, but whatever, say la vie. Under notes, you'll see if oxidized, it may cause irritation, and that's true for virtually every essential oil, it just kind of comes with the territory. In any case, now let's dive into some history. In 1999, the nonprofit organization Seekology helped to preserve this and other plants by creating a national park around Mount Anginovoli near Antanavataro in Madagascar. A flowering plant in the sunflower family found in Madagascar. It is used locally for its alleged aphrodisiac, antiseptic, and stimulant properties, and also as a treatment for bronchitis. Pretty cool stuff, really interesting history behind it. As far as I can tell, the scarcity or potential scarcity of them is the reason for the price increase. But I mean, hopefully as time progresses, it'll become less and less rare. Hopefully they'll import it to grow with ops and greenhouses and then really help bolster its availability that way. In any case, let's get on to a really quick recipe involving Helichristum gemocephalum. It is two drops of the aforementioned oil, one drop's lavender, one drop carrot seed, one tablespoon baking soda and one and a half teaspoons water just rub into your face in the morning or at night whatever suits you and go to bed or carry on with your day based on which one you picked it's pretty simple stuff and a relatively easy recipe with relatively little risk as well that being said if you like helichristum gymocephalum or you want to try experimenting with it or if you're running low please do consider ordering from rocky mountain oils great company with great customer support and it will help support the channel links down below and as always if you have any thoughts questions comments concerns or recipes of your own please do share them down beneath in the comment section that being said i hope you have a great day and as always may all of your future endeavors smell divine